Hello everybody, Happy New Year. Welcome back to my channel. This is Clara here. I have just completed a journal and I'm going to do a flip through of this journal. Um, it is actually a custom order, but as usual, I always show my um, the customer the journal first. I do a flip through for them here on YouTube if they like it. They can take it if not it will be up for sale in my etsy shop for anyone to buy whoever is interested um this is a big journal uh it measures the standard a4 size which is about 21 centimeters width and about 30 centimeters length and uh, the spine this spine here is 10 centimeters thick and it is made of fabric i used fabric on the spine here this beautiful fabric and i use fabric at the back here as well two different types of uh, black fabric i don't know if you can see that i hope so yes you can so this is like plants flowers whatever and this one is just the swirls and that is the back but for the front i used i made this out of uh, cardstock bookboard basically i cut out this oval shape and i stuck this uh, illustration from a plant book here in the front and um, i just made this little Thing here to stick in a label or something it does come out so the owner can change this and also this is um so the so the custom order the lady who ordered this she is um she likes she's a chef uh she does nail art and she's uh into uh eastern um what should i say eastern medicine and uh, you know the belief system you know the chakras and stuff like that so i had to incorporate or try to incorporate all that in this herbal journal so i'm but i'm mostly focused on herbal and uh you know plants etc etc and just with just a few hints of um yeah the eastern uh uh, beliefs and stuff like that and i and um what did i want to say i lived in tanzania back home i lived with a lot of people from uh, india or had um, uh, indian origin and i just remembered their clothing and uh, the signs on their uh, temples stuff like that and this here reminded me of that this design here it's not exactly the way it is obviously it's just a representation but this reminds me of that so i put it here on the cover this is um just simple gold paint i used a stencil and i uh went over it with a varnish so this is what i got here and this is hard a hard uh, cover and as i said this i just wrote herbs here um, and I don't know too much about the, the things like chakras and stuff like that. So I did not uh, want to put my uh, stuff in it. So, But there's plenty of space for the new owner to make this journal the way she wants it to. And include all her ideas, etc, etc in it. Anyway, so first we start with the what I like to call the sidekick. Which is this one here and she wanted plenty of space to write so i believe i have left a lot of space for her to write in so this is i just uh, painted this it used to be white and i painted it with a gold uh, acrylic paint and and then finish off with a matte varnish so this is it here and this is the fabric you see again here i always like these these are the ones that you these journals are the ones that you carry around with you because they are very portable. You can slip into your handbag, etc. etc. I just put this on the at the end of the string that ties it. 
and this is the inside oh and it is she wants it colorful so main theme is black and white but also with bursts of color here and there so you will see a lot of color in this journal this is the this is these are just uh, simple pages that i've added in here coffee dyed paper um cardstock <coughs> um pages book pages uh things like that just very very simple but lots of place space to write and i uh, i would just i envision that she's going to add in all the uh, words and stuff like that in it so this is basically a writing journal but there's you know places to put a pocket or something like that here pockets and that's that very quickly and then we have the big one here it's so heavy <laughs> it gets really heavy because you know paper is heavy so we have these beads at the bottom these glass beads and they are all in all sorts of colors blue uh, purple this is purple um orange yellow red and this i always say is a watercolor look at the way that shimmers i love it and black as well and this pink as well here too so this is at the tied to the uh, signature strings and they can be removed as i always say uh i showed you yeah this is the top what the top looks like what the bottom looks like the side this is also fabric and we open it now so they're like steps here <laughs> um oh she also wanted cute and i thought uh, you know little polka dots are also cute so i added that there and this is just a large section for documents and papers or whatever in for here. Close that up. And then here we open this. And also here there are large pockets as well. So here we have, oh, let's do it this way. I made this ginormous journaling card. And also there is um, space to put stuff in here because it's a pocket as well as here and where I got this one out of which is in here. So there are three pockets here, one, two, three, and this large one here. And then we have some Edith Holden uh, book pages that I just a book page that turned into a journaling card and these are like an orange uh, um, design at the back here with orange dots and this is also a pocket in here as well and then we open this and we have a pocket here this one here with just uh, some cardstock in it just to show that there is a pocket there and then we have this beautiful butterfly here cute butterfly and we have this that i put here just another book page with a plant and this is just left plain this opens up like so and then we have some old documents in here it's very delicate and here as well a lovely oops okay take it out a lovely uh, to a lovely pages from a book this is also a pocket here I didn't fill all the pockets 
because after all some of the things that you put in here maybe the person who buys it doesn't really like and they can just remove them and replace them with other stuff so i even left some pockets free so this closes like that move to here and this opens so and we have some of the journaling cards with the herbs on them and there are some descriptions at the back of how to use it etc etc so there's a pocket here and another one here and these are just some uh, uh oh i have to pause i will be back where is the pause button right and i'm back that was my son coming back from school ex more ex earlier than expected anyway we continue this is real life so what can you do <laughs> um i painted this this is uh, supposed to be lavender and uh, yeah so i just made a journal card here so there is a pocket here a pocket here and a pocket at the back as well and this one sits in the front pocket right there and this uh put this up this flips down here then this pocket here is a uh, pocket here and uh, yes this is the front one this flips up there's a pocket in here coming out this way and then just showing you the a bit of the construction of this piece here and this opens up like this this opens up like that there's a pocket here and this is another painting that I painted and that goes in there this is chamomile and there's another pocket at the top here and the flowers that i showed you up here this is uh, jasmine here okay and then opens up <laughs> and this is a pocket here and there's another pocket here oh wait where is the other pocket for this one Oh, sorry yeah let's see this is a bit too thick the other pocket is in here but i just like this and i put it at the back so this closes like that like that like that and like that Right, then we open it like this. It's just a die cut I put here. There is a pocket here, a large pocket here, and this another one here as well. In here for documents and such, writing space. And then we have a window pocket here with this large journaling card. This was actually the cover of the book. I just turned it into a journaling card that fits in here and then we open this and we just have a collection of some cardstock here and this is a an accordion pocket can be filled with goodies and memories and stuff like that close this so you can see a bit of the uh, a bit or a lot of the black and white theme that i used in here and this is a large tuck spot here or pocket and this is some more journaling space writing space also related to herbs, plants, etc. And 
little booklet and that stays in here. Then we leave this open and I'll do a quick flip through of the main journal here. And because she's also a cook, a chef, got some uh, recipes and images of food, etc. And also, um, the client says she's a nail artist as well. I didn't really know how to incorporate that in here, except I actually did my own nails. <laughs> and the colors because the nail artists are also amazing what they can do with the uh, with nails these nails these days i've seen some amazing art this is a large journaling card for writing coffee dyed pages black and white more food healthy food vegetables book pages this is pink and this is pink and another colors for the um for the chakra R, let me see if I have it written down here. Did I get yeah? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And if you look throughout this journal, you will see those colors. Yeah, so here's your blue. Lots of pages. Here's your red. Here's the yellow. Did I say green? Let's see the list again. Yep, yeah, there's green. Here's the green. Here's the green. Here's the violet. Here's the green again. So that's and uh Orange, here's the orange. There's orange here. They're also these the color of these flowers are also orange. So I put them together. And this is uh, also there as well. Lovely book pages. It's lovely. Purple. There's purple here, there's purple here. Goes very well together. Blue. Last signature, I think. This also reminded me of the East, these circles here. So I stuck them on. She also wanted it to look cute, so. I also managed to 
put that in here, include that here as well. Journaling page um, card. And that's done with the main page, the main part of the journal, the writing part. And we go to the back. We have, oops, we have to open this. We've got all these little journaling uh well they're not journaling cards unless of course you can put paper on top here and or paint black and you can write on top of them so we just have these cards here so there's a pocket here there's a pocket here as well a shallow pocket if i can find it of course where is it here it's a shallow pocket right there we put these back. This flips open. Room for sticking stuff and, you know, decorating it differently. And because it's also a chef and he obviously into healthy food, I had to include these postcards. Just a little journey card to show that there's a pocket here. Close this. We come to this part now. Um, this is just a book page that I put in here. And this is a pocket. And this is another section here. Another pocket. This fit precisely in here, so I was like, wow, perfect measurement for that. And then you open it, and again, it's another journal, and some more of these beautiful postcards in this pocket, and more writing space. My table is, uh, yeah, it's big enough. We have this here and we have another journal. And so on this side, it sits very well here. It's very easy to write here rather than it being in any other part of the, the, lap book, the lap book part. So it lies flat. Some more black and white, some different types of paper, coffee dyed, book pages. And yeah. Plenty, plenty, plenty of writing space. Close that up. And then we come here. So this flips down and I just put a book page, Edith Holden book, Edith Holden book page here. There is a pocket here, there's a pocket in here and there's another one here. So three pockets here for stuff and this flips down. properly and these are there's a pocket here and a pocket here for these two cards and this is also another large journaling card behind this window envelope i painted this um, with acrylic paint black acrylic paint the frame and then we open it like this and we have Oh, let's see, let's show you this one first. Uh, a lovely book page with this beautiful pink flower. And this page here, which is a pocket as well. And here is some more stuff to write on. This is a small pocket. And a book page and some more pages that you can write on. Like a little booklet with a pocket 
and that stays in here and this stays in front of it move this over this is also some more um it's it's actually like this it's actually a book let and you can write in here coffee bag pages these are just added on here very dark coffee dyed paper and there's this and there's also just a little pocket here at the back and you hook it onto this i reinforce this with uh, you can't see it obviously with fabric so it's really it cannot tear it will not tear down the down the sides strong and this stays here like this then we close this and we open it like that and we just have a tuck spot here with this old document here and that stays in here and this opens up like that And I just uh, doodled a little bit here with some a gold pen. There's also a pocket here. That's there to show you. And I love this as well. I do like how it turned out. And this. And this is a uh, journaling card. And an old old document and i like this page too with all the berries here the birds about to eat them i think so that closes like this i actually had a customer who bought several journals from me and i learned from her to close this these uh closures like this and then one more time around and it is really secure. I learned that from watching a f uh, her flipping through one of my journals that she bought. So that was a good one to see. And I forgot to close this one. If the string is long enough, of course, you can do it over twice, like so. And it's really secure. So that is, oh, and the back page is here. The back. I just put another lovely some book pages in here and so when fully opened I will show it to you I forgot to measure this I forgot to measure it so let me take it from one side to the other you can see how long it is start from here you have to have a big desk for this one if you're going to open it completely. I don't even have enough space. And to the end. And it's heavy. Okay. So, let's put these back properly. Close it. Close it. And as I always, always uh, remind people, when you want to work in this journal, you have to open the, the lap book part. You have to have these parts open. You have to, oh, you have, to have these. I don't even know how to open this thing myself anymore. Uh -huh. Like this, so that you can have a flat surface to write. And also the other side, of course. So that the middle part where you journal and write, etc. is going to lie flat I always have to mention that in case it's the first time watching one of my videos and with that said I thank you all for subscribing and watching this video and I'm thanking thanking you all for all your lovely comments and uh, yeah that's it for now until those were my notes until the next time thank you so much and 
Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you have a good one.